Roads were damaged, homes destroyed, spirits diminished after three floods devastated parts of this community. Yep, but a relief effort is underway. The WFMZ team has spent a good part of this day here helping to hand out uh, food and water and some meals donated by some of our community partners. We'll have more on that coming up throughout the newscast. But first, let's give you an idea of what these people are up against. WFMZ's Jamie Stover is here. She's on Spring Street tonight with more on that for us. Jamie. Rob, Wendy, this is really the ground zero of it all. This community, this street has just been smacked. Most recently, Monday, that was the third time, and the cleanup effort is well underway, but this is far from over for the people in this community. In Tremont, flash floods turned to flashbacks far too soon. It's just heartbreaking for everybody. Twice they thought they got through the worst of it, then the worst of it somehow got worse. There was water coming through my living room windows. The third flood destroyed entire first floors. Mud and mold followed, ruining the little Spring Street families could salvage after the first two. Everything is just, it's gone. Some families losing homes they spent decades making. I live in the house for almost 20 years. This is the worst it's ever been. Others losing everything before they even had a chance to make it a home. The Gieblers hadn't lived here a month. The move itself was stressful, you know, but then going through this, it's horrifying. And Robin Wendy, some people here have flood insurance, some don't. And even those who do say that it's barely a drop in the bucket for the amount of money that they are going to have to put into fixing these homes. Some of them telling us that it doesn't cover any of their properties, simply just the structure. And some of them even being told that their insurance only covers one flood a year. And some of them seeing three in just a matter of a few weeks. Reporting live in Tremont, Jamie Stover, 69 News.